Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love It Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about a couple things. We're going to be talking about this fabulous little machine. It is the Mob Duplicator. But we're also going to be talking about the Mob Slaughter Factory and the uh, Mob Crusher. Could not think of the name of it for the life of me. We're going to look at all the setups that we could do with these and why we would want to use them the crafting crafting recipes for them but also another way to get essence which we need to run the mob duplicator so stay tuned if you want to find all this information out yay all right so first of all let me actually talk about these resource resourceful furnaces these are pretty awesome now i crafted some stuff in here and i paused it and the reason why I did, I want you to see, there's different things you can cook in here. However, only some of them, like if we put this back in, take these out, only some of them actually give you essence. Now, right now, all the essence is going to this right here, as you see. Um, I have it hooked up where the fluid uh, extraction is on the back of each of these going into the tank. And then from the tank, it is coming out into the fluid transfer node. So, uh, once this gets full, you'll start to see it in here. But the thing is, and let's go ahead. Yep, that's still going. So, stuff like pork chops, beef. Uh, that's not going to run because those are in there. There we go. Uh, stuff like pork chops and beef, you'll see, will actually produce essence for you when you cook it. And this one I paused so you can see there's still essence there. But these will actually give you essence when you cook these. However, things like ores do not. They do not. Now, if there's a certain one, maybe I'm unaware, but they do not produce any essence. What? And then it just produced essence. What the heck? Well, it was not when I was setting it up. However, there was something I did on my Sky Factory one that did produce essence, so... But like, I just have four of these set up, and once we get this mob duplicator going, you're going to see you are not going to lack in meat, things to eat, any of that. So, all right, so next let's talk about crafting recipes. But I wanted to set this up and show you because then I have this GPS marker going to that mob duplicator right there. I will show you how to set it up because that one does not have any essence going to it. So we will set that one up. But um, I wanted to go ahead and set up one to show you what it's capable of. And if you're unfamiliar with the uh, cyclic wire transfer nodes and all that, I do have a separate tutorial just on those, all the wireless nodes. All right, so first of all, let's see how we're going to craft everything. So this one is the Mob Crusher, and for that you're going to need, we're going to need a lot of plastic. So I just did a video on how to... No, a while back on how to make the plastic. Um, so check that one out if you need to. But you're going to use two of those plastic, two books, a machine case, a piece of redstone, two gold gears, and an iron sword. And that's going to give us our mob crusher. And I always re recommend making all three of these. And I'll show you what. So then for the mob slaughter factory, we're going to use two plastic two iron swords, two iron axe, a redstone, um, another machine casing, and a gold gear. Now this one's a little bit harder and of course because it's the mob duplicator. The duplicator is the like best machine ever. Yes I truly think that. Um, it, it's really easy to do and it's uh, once you get it set up. Oh, I love it. So for this, you're going to do two plastic, two magma cream, a machine casing, another wart, two emeralds, and a redstone. I know I do it out of order, but I point to where it goes. So it's just what I do. All right. So that's our mob duplicator. But in order to use the mob duplicator, we have to make these mob imprisonment tools. And I have some. I went and um, got a couple of the mobs to demonstrate, but for this you're going to need four plastic and this is the hardest part to get a gas tier once you know how to kill the gas though it's not so hard but some people have a rough time with that but that's going to give you this mob imprisonment tool now the way it works is well 
when you see a mob, you just right click on it with the imprisonment tool and the mob will go in there. So for instance, yeah, there's a mob stuck somewhere on my building and I have no idea where. So for instance, if I wanted a creeper, I just right click it and now we got a creeper one. I definitely do not want a creeper. So let's put that up. Don't want to blow my crap up, but you get what I mean. So that's how easy it is to capture them. Now, the best places to go capture the mobs, in my opinion at least, is Lost Cities. Because you can easily get cows, pigs, chickens there. And then, um, don't forget Nether. Um, a really important one is a Wither Skeleton. And we'll go over that later. And then, of course, I did a Blaze. Uh, but then you can also... Um, Go to Twilight Forest, and we'll demonstrate that too. Now, these are range add-ons, and I put the different levels over here. Now, these work in the machines, all the different machines, and you're going to need several of these because, let's for instance take this mob duplicator here. You can click here and show working area. So it's going to show you, it's going to spawn up and down so it's two blocks up and two blocks down okay but if we add this range add-on which this one is plus one now it's gonna take it not only see how it's still up and down one but it's gonna take it out so look how much more spawn area it gives it with just one and each plus goes out one block more on each side so this gives you such a bigger spawn area. So these are gonna be important, but it also works in the machines to kill them too. So it's very important because if you have it spawning here and it's only gonna kill right in front of it, then that's not gonna be very useful and it's not gonna kill anything here. So that's why we're gonna make these upgrades. But there are different ones. The one I put in there was plus one, then there's plus two, three, four, all the way up to 12. Now, I'm only going to show you up to four, four or five. I think I set it up to five because, well, I mean, this is up to five and this is a huge area. So, I honestly don't make the higher ones unless I have to for achievements. So, the first one's really simple. Each one, the main recipe is going to be the same. The outer six blocks, if you will, is what's going to be different. So for each recipe, you're going to want two plastic and a glass pane in the middle. It's any kind of glass pane. So even if you have a colored one, that part doesn't matter. It just has to be a glass pane. So for the first one, it's just going to be simple cobblestone. Real easy to make. For two plus two, you're going to use lapis. Plus three is iron, plus four is tin, plus five is copper. So yes, I went to plus five. So, uh, copper. And then one other thing we want to make, and this one's going to be pretty cool, but if you're doing all three of these anyway, you're going to want to make one of these. That way you never have to worry about eating again. All right, so this is the meat feeder, and it holds... 128,000 millibuckets of meat. It's a lot of freaking meat. And as you can see, it's a bubble. So, two plastic, three iron ingots, and two glass bottles. I went ahead and put one in my... Uh, oh, okay. Apparently I took it out and put it there. But, um, so, let's take number five so I can show you. Let's take that because, remember, we're going to need multiples of these. So for the spawners, I'm only going to want two and three. I have not put spawner in anything, so we're going to leave it at that. I have not put spawner in anything. Uh, range add-ons in anything. It's been a long day, guys. Okay, so now if you show working area, look how much that expands it. But if I add the five and this one's just for demonstration purposes so if we take out the two we add the five yep the blocks is where i added it look this is why i don't go bigger than five 
Why would you need to? Like, look how much room you have to spawn all this. Because remember, you're going to be killing them anyway. All right, so the way this works is I have the fluid essence from the resourceful furnaces coming over here. I don't like that on, so let's, oh, it's on this one. Uh, so I like to turn those off. But um, you'll notice in this one it has two slots, and one of them is always liquid meat. So the first thing we're going to demonstrate here is a cow. So you're going to take whatever mob you captured that you want to spawn, and you're going to oh. put it right here. And it's going to spawn oh. our cows, and oh. this is automatically going to oh. kill it. Now, of course, we can turn this off. But you see, we have two different fluids coming out. So if we take a look here, uh, pink slime. So the pink slime, you get it here. But the important thing is, you get this liquid meat. This brown is the liquid meat, and this is the pink slime. Now, with this pink slime is how you can spawn the slimes. Now, see how this isn't killing the cows that are standing over there? It just takes a minute. So, if it's not killing them right away, it's okay. It's still doing it. It just goes through a work mode. So, it kills all these because the add-on we have in it is five. So it'll kill all the way out to the blocks. Now, of course, if he goes outside this block, then we're going to be screwed. So if you want to have this running for a while, you're probably going to want to put this higher so they can't go up. And, of course, the way you build it depends on what you're going to spawn. So this is our mob spawner. Let, let's turn this off. And you can pause it, or you can simply take out what is in here. So I don't want to spawn cows anymore, so we're going to take that out. You can also put the machines on redstone signal. So you can have a just a simple lever if you want. You can set it up more elaborate. But you can also do a simple lever. And so the machine will only work with the lever on. So if I turn it on now, it would actually work. If we can kick this cow down there. Come on. Go, go. <clears throat> see and that's how simple it is I always do it like this I have a simple fluid extraction cable coming out and I just have it two tanks it'll automatically put it in the tank that it's supposed to be in you don't even need two cables which is cool so this is the mob duplicator but of course we're going to want more than just mobs right let's see is it actually filling it up no Let's see if we can get this to build that. No. All right, hold on. Um, well, not really hold on. But okay, so this one, this is what you need, this essence. You know, this, this stupid zombie is stuck somewhere. And it's annoying the poop out of me. I can't find it. Is it actually showing now? It's been stuck somewhere since I was setting this whole thing up. I don't know where it is, but it's really annoying. All right, but here's the way I like to set mine up. Because the different machines, the mob slaughter factory, think of your farm animals. So you're going to use this to, for farm animals because it gives you the liquid meat. Okay? And it'll also give you the pink slime. This one is the mob crusher, and this will give you essence when you crush a mob. So this one simply, um, well, I don't have the thing set up over here, but this one, if I were to move this, which we could actually do real easily because I have the GPS set up over here, so anything I set down here will automatically just work. So for the mob crusher, uh, that's the other thing. You got to put it down facing backwards. And whenever you see that, that's when you know it's working. Okay, so for the mob crusher, we're going to want to use, well, a mob. So, and I captured like Enderman, Twilight Deer, uh, Brighton Sheep. Okay, so we want to test those with the other one. But say we wanted like Wither Skeleton. 
because who doesn't want wither skeleton and be able to okay, make sure it's on wither skeleton and be able to um, well capture all that stuff and if you're gonna be here you really want to be up a little bit higher Oh, I didn't put a range on it which is why they aren't dying until they get here oh you turn so it will kill them one of the things I like to do though is use the mob spawner hold up wait a minute uh, use the mob spawner to spawn the mob I need for um, to use my glitch infused sword. Sorry, I cannot word today. I don't know what it is. Um, but it'll also attract the stuff in here. Now, if we put a range add on, so let's put, say, the five on and turn it back on. Now you'll see it'll kill them and pick up the mob drops. So the range add on affects what it picks up and how far it can kill them. So just keep that in mind. But look at this. So depending on what you want, look at that. We've already gotten four wither skeleton skulls. You want wither dust, coal. I mean, like, this is like the best machine ever. I'm telling you. So whatever it is you're wanting. And see, now we're getting essence. So here's what we're going to do. Just so I can show you how it is set up. We are going to take... I put them away. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So to show you on the machine over there, because that's the way I like to set it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this essence out. So we're going to put a fluid extraction cable and we're going to put the fluid transfer node directly on top. Now it's going to automatically pull the fluid from here. We're going to take one of our GPS markers. And again, for more detailed, I do have a separate one on these, but we're going to right click on there. We're going to tell it that's where we want the fluid to go to. It'll automatically put any of that fluid over here. So then we have fluid essence in our mob duplicator over here. Now, the reason why I like to set it up this way is no matter what you're spawning, you have something to kill them here. So I have both the slaughter factory and the crusher set up here. I'm going to get that zombie, I'm telling you. So, for here, let's put a range add-on of, say, two. Now, of course, I don't have anything set up, but you could set up a room, but you don't have to. Okay, I looked back here before, you little twerp. Stop ruining my video. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> if you don't know me by now, I'm a little bit crazy, so don't mind me. Um, okay, so what we're going to do in here... I also wanted to show you that you can do twilight animals um, to get some stuff. So let's put this in the duplicator. And of course, they're going to be killing it automatically in here. But if I don't want this one to kill them, I'm going to turn it off to only activate on signal. So this one down here is always active, but there's no add-on in it. So let's increase the add-on to it right here. Now it's gonna start killing them. And it, as you can see, so even if we kill these sheep, it's still gonna give us the fluid. But the difference between the mob crusher and the slaughterhouse is, you see, we're not getting the drops that they give us. So if you want wool, you would turn this one on. And if you want the meat, raw mutton, if you wanted the slime and the fluid, you would turn this one on. Okay, let's, let's. And that goes with any of these. So let's turn that. But because of the range add-on, it's not picking up all the drops from over here. And if it gets caught on the sides, it affects the killing them. 
So you're probably going to want to build something on the sides so they can't get to it. But see, the ones over here, because I didn't have a wall, wandered off, and so it's not killing those. But that is the big difference between the crusher and the slaughter factory. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it down below. Or if you want to know something about something I haven't covered yet or more details on something maybe I have, um, then let me know. But that is it. Once you get these set up, it's pretty simple. And the fact is, if you need something that you can't easily get, like you don't want to run to Twilight and you need the... Um, raw mutton I guess or you want a whole bunch of uh, wool of course this spawns different ones and it because it does that then um, then you can get the different colors without going and searching for them and dyeing them and all that so that's it this is easy of course I have them powered I have multiple power setups depending on what stage you're in so getting these set up as soon as possible is obviously pretty important but let me know what you think if you or like I said if you have any questions or comments and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I have this many many more tutorials coming out so let me know what you think Till next time this is Love Attemptress don't get burned <laughs>